Hi everyone, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but um, here I am trying to make a pork shoulder Boston butt in my new pressure cooker, um, power pressure cooker, right over here. And uh, basically we're going to make it Spanish style, make it a little Puerto Rican style, and I'm going to throw in some fresh garlic, some chopped cilantro, some onions here jalapenos, lots more cilantro, olive oil, um, olives, some Goya sofrito, and some Goya jamón seasoning, and some sazón um, con mechote, and coriander, and of course some olive oil. And the pressure cooker's already heated up pretty much pretty good, so I wanted to heat it up get it a little hot. And now I'm just going to pour a little bit of olive oil on top. I've already poked a bunch of holes in here, and um, I don't know, I'm going to massage the meat, <laughs> if that's uh, the proper thing to be saying. Not sure about that, but <laughs> um, I already poured a little bit on there, and I poked a bunch of holes in here, and basically I want to take these pieces of garlic and pop them in the holes as best as I can. I don't remember how deep there were, but just shoving a couple of them inside there. It's probably not the nicest thing to be doing. But, um, yeah. So, how's everyone doing? I know it's been a long time since uh, I've made a video, but hey, maybe I'll start getting back to doing it again. I wonder how my house of snozzles doing. I haven't. Uh, watched any YouTube videos in quite a while. I've been keeping myself pretty busy. And I hope everyone out there is doing good. I know Laura Vitali, she's made it pretty big. I used to watch her all the time. Now my daughter Tiffany watches her and lives by her videos and I'm thinking, what the heck? Why isn't she watching any of my videos? Maybe I should start making videos, but make a little, uh, embarrassment thing for my daughters. <laughs> they definitely don't like that. Mom, what do you mean you're making videos? Mom, that's horrible. Don't do that. That's embarrassing. It's not embarrassing to me. Let me turn this off. I smell that it's getting really, really hot. Um, so basically, I'm going to throw on a little bit of seasoning now. I know it might look like a lot, but a lot um, because, I don't know, just because. You like it a lot. <laughs> I know it. And, um, you know, it's going to just make it really good. I'm going to cook this for, I don't know, in the pressure cooker, I like to cook it for about two hours in the pressure cooker because it's going to come out amazing. It's going to fall off the bone. There's a small bone in here. Um, do I need a little bit more olive oil? I don't think so. I've got plenty of olive oil in here. I just want to get it all seasoned up. Really, I'm sorry that I'm not editing this because it's being shot from my Samsung Galaxy S7 camera, phone, whatever you want to call it, that I just <laughs> got for Mother's Day recently. Thank you to my daughter, Tiffany and Jimmy. Yeah, I'm getting a little sloppy here. But here you go. Lots of garlic is, is the main key to this thing. Man. This is what you want. A lot of garlic. And season it up and shove it in there. And on the other side, Put it in there as much as you want to get in those holes if you could. I'm not putting any black pepper on this. Normally I would, but I'm not putting any black pepper on it because we have the jalapeno peppers in there. And because the sofrito has so much seasoning already. So, and the reason why my, um, my fingers are orange and the meat is orange it's because that's the achote. And you want to be careful not to get that on your clothing. Because we wear aprons sometimes. Yes. <laughs> and I'm not at, 
my house where my apron is, so I did not even think to bring it actually. Yeah, the camera woman here. <laughs> <laughs> my sister in law Marjorie is my camera woman here. For the first time ever. She's very she was very reluctant to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? I no. just wanted to learn how to do this thing, so Oh yeah, that's right. Let's talk about the story about why we're doing this. Why am I here in your house doing this on the new pressure cooker? It's actually not my pressure cooker. My pressure cooker is at home. This is her pressure cooker. Yeah, that you gave me. So that I don't know how to use. Marjorie's learning how to use the pressure cooker. Yes. Yeah. Why well, I have all that cilantro? Because you know what? Most of it's going to wind up on my hands. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lovely. So, um, I will have to do another video um, when the, the, the finished product, so you can see how great it is and how tender it is. So is this thing on? No, I think I turned it off. Did I turn it off? I did turn it off. I hit the wrong button. All right, what are we doing? We've got that, we've got that, we've got the olives. Oh, I can't open that now. Okay. There it is. Okay. I opened it before, so we struggle to open it, and now I'm struggling. So, everyone, now I'm going to throw it in there. And is this hot? I'm thinking it's nice and hot. I'm putting it in there with the, um, the skin side down, or whatever you want to call it, the fat side down. Yeah, it kind of fits in there. Yeah, it does. It'll shrink. Oh my god, this smells so good. Yes, it does. Wow, if you can only smell this right now. Look at that. <sighs> we will not be leaving any of this garlic behind. No, no garlic will be left behind. <laughs> no garlic will awesome. be left behind. Okay, so we're just browning it now, and then you have to brown it all on all sides before you continue? No, I'm just browning it on that fat side. Oh, okay. Just kind of not really browning it, and I'm just kind of yeah, getting that fat out of there as best I can. I'm not really browning it. All right, yeah, so, so I'm going to throw in the, um, the onions on the side there as best as I can. Just a few oh, okay. on the side. I'm throwing some peppers on the side. I turned the pressure cooker on um, meat, which put it onto a 15 minute um, timer. And it, I didn't have the lid on, so it wasn't pressurizing. So basically, it was just getting the pot hot. And it actually warned me that I got it too hot by giving me an error message and was beeping at me. So just so you know, it does have safety features on it. And then I, um, you know, it's not a big deal. You just turn it off by hitting the warm button or the cancel button. So for anyone who is interested in getting one of these um, power pressure cookers, they are amazing. I've made so many things in this thing. Um, they sell it at Kohl's. I know that. They sell it online. I got a great discount. I use my 30% at Kohl's. And, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's, I make a lot of things. I make chicken soup, chicken stew. I make some beans. Okay, that's good stuff. Oh, you know what I made that was really good? I went to Patak Meats over in Austell, Georgia. And I got um, some bratwurst and some kabasi. Wow. And I browned them up really, really good. And then I put in a, two big onions, sliced them nice and thick into um, slivers. You know, like, a, what are they called, like half moons? Yes, I'm gonna drown this Man, thing in, of, in cilantro. Yeah, I see that, wow. Oh, I forgot to put the olives in. Oh, we're we'll sticking in. Can you just put them on top? Yeah, I can throw them on top. Let me throw some in the bottom here. Oh, I want to throw okay. some olives in here too. With that, with the liquid as well, or? Well, the liquid's okay, but I won't really put too much liquid in yeah. there. Yeah. 
That's just for, you know, flavor and stuff. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, Whoa, that looks so good. And then we got enough stuff in there. And then the sofrito. Amazing. Look at that. Green peppers, onion, cilantro, garlic, and olive oil. And that's going to be our liquid. The whole thing? The whole thing. Wow. The whole thing and a little bit of water. Maybe like a half of a half a jar of the water. You can probably use... Because that's going to be your liquid that's going to cook in. Okay. We're you can rinse doing... the, the jar, right? What's that? Just get the water, like rinse it with a... Yeah, I'm going to put some water in the jar and then shake it up. Are we good on the cilantro? You... Yes, I think so. <laughs> Us cilantro lovers. All right, this pressure cook is really seriously easy to use. Wait, let me just put, tuck that down a little. Um, the body of the pressure cooker does not get that hot. It really doesn't. I mean, I don't even think it gets hot enough to burn and hurt if, if a child was to touch it. You know, like, really. let them know it's warm, but it's okay. Um, you see this lid right here? This is the lid. If you haven't used this before, this is the part that is the lock right here. Um, that's where it's going to pressurize. And when later on, when it's done and it's cooked, you, you just move this with a pair of tongs or a wooden spoon or something. Not with your hands because it's going to be hot. I use uh, uh, pot holders or something. Or pot holders, yeah. And you want to keep your face away from it because once you push, turn this to the steam picture, it's going to shoot out the steam. So it's really easy to close this. Where am I at? This is the front of it. I'm just so used to do it this way. You see it's already bubbling? Yeah, it is. Ooh. It's not even pressurized yet. So you kind of put it on easily and turn it and lock it. And now it's locked. And now, now it's gonna start pressurizing. Now, I'm I can just change the um, setting. I have it on meat, but I can change it. I'm gonna stop it. And then I'm going to start it by hitting the meat one. And then I'm going to change the time for an hour by pressing this. You can change the time as many times. All of these other buttons have different timers on them, and you can adjust them by pressing this button. I'm cooking it for an hour. Then I'm going to probably check it, depressurize it, and then I'm going to check it, and then probably most likely cook it again for another hour. What do you think? Well, it depends, you know. I mean, I love to make it full of the bone. I'm, I've literally cooked that thing for quite some time. So thank you for watching my very long video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that little bit and lesson quick, quick, quick. And you can do that with any kind of meat. And I hope that you take advantage of this wonderful pressure cooker. I actually, it, I only see it in the store for about $100. I got a really great deal with coupons and such. And I think I paid like $64 for it, somewhere around there. But um, Kohl's has it on sale right now for $100. So if you want to go there. I don't know where else they sell it because I really only shop at Kohl's. Because, you know, that's my part-time job there. But that's where all my money goes. So <laughs> it's not really a job. It's just really working there just to let see what they have. So um, anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great night. Great day. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Marjorie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>